Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a ferret toy. And actually this toy could be used with based with maybe your dogs or even your cats. I have a kitten who will play with dog toys and cat toys if it's small enough and he loves the ferret toys. So it's just a pet toy. Um, actually, to be honest with you, it is not a pet toy. This is actually a toy that um, the pattern is free online and it is a toy that is made for children. <laughs> but I am gonna tweak it a little bit and I'm gonna use it for my ferrets. The pattern is free. It is not my pattern, but the link to the pattern will be in the description. Um, this is a pattern that's free on the internet. So um, I did put it in the description. If you wanna make this project, all you have to do is download the pattern and print it on your printer. So, um, and the other thing about the pattern is the pattern calls for bead eyes in this um, project. I will not be using bead eyes because this will be for my ferrets and they cannot have bead eyeballs on their toys. It's not recommended. So I don't want any kind of plastic eyes for my ferret toys. In place of the plastic eyes, I'm just gonna use some fleece and I'm gonna just sew it to the face and we're just gonna to completely pretend like plastic eyes aren't in the pattern. So if you're making this, um, I recommend if you're making this for your ferrets, particularly that you do not use plastic eyes, that you just replace it with fabric. Uh, the other thing is, is that this toy is a stuffed toy, but it's actually flat. So the tail has some stuffing and the head has some stuffing, but the body is not stuffed, which is super cool because my ferrets absolutely love like those flat toys. Okay, so for this um, project, I'm gonna be using gray fleece. I will be cutting out the body and the head and the tail with gray fleece. You're gonna need two of each of these. So two tails, two heads, two bodies. I will be using brown fleece for the feet and the ears. You will need two ears and four feet. I will put these, this is black. I'm gonna use this in place of the eyes that are, that are that are called for their plastic. I'll be using this black fleece. And then I'm gonna, I found some pink fleece and I'm gonna be using this for the nose. So you can use any colors you want though. Um, also, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of pins or clips. You're gonna need um, some thread and a real needle. So I will be using the sewing machine, but you could actually do this whole project by hand some of it you have to do by hand, so you're gonna to wanna to have a needle and thread. Um, you're gonna need some stuffing. And then you're gonna need some scissors. I will be using these for the more detailed pieces, but you could use regular scissors if you wanted as well. So, and then your sewing machine, and that's optional. You could actually do this by hand, like I said, so you don't have to have a sewing machine for this project. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna fold my fleece in half because I need two of these. So for this, I'm gonna make sure my right sides are facing together when I cut this out. Um, with fleece, it's kind of sometimes can be hard to tell what is the right side and what is the wrong side. <laughs> so sometimes it's difficult, but I think I had it right to begin with because yeah. All right, so right sides together. Trace your pattern and cut it out. We're gonna actually start with the tail. So we're just gonna trace this you're gonna leave this open. Next, we're gonna get a little bit of stuffing. We're gonna stuff this, but we're gonna leave about a quarter inch open. You should have something like this. And then you can just sit this aside for now. Next, you're gonna cut out your two faces. And then I like to do this because it helps my fabric not slide when I'm cutting it out. Not so much when I'm doing big stuff, but this little, this little stuff, that's different. So I'm just gonna cut these out. Sit one of your faces aside. Okay, so for this next part, we're now, your pa the pattern calls for the plastic eyes, but like I said, I'm not using plastic because of the ferrets. So I'm just gonna take 
my small scissors, and I'm going to cut two little eyes out of some fleece. So now I have two weird looking little eyes. And you're going to want to take your fleece face, one of your one side of your face, and you're going to put your little eyes on. So basically, here's your here's your pattern like this. I have it upside down, so that's no good. So we're going to put they got two little tiny eyes. We're just going to have this we're gonna sew these in place, and while we're doing that, let's also add our nose. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get out our thread and needle, and we're just gonna stitch these little these little eyes and nose in place. Um, just a couple little stitches right through the bottom, and this is gonna be your top. So I'm gonna use pink for the nose. I happen to have pink thread is a miracle because I, I never seem to have the colors I need. And put our nose right wherever it is there. And just go up through the bottom. Hold, make sure you hold your little nose in place. And just kind of put a couple stitches in the best you can just to hold it. Um, Trying to do this so you can see. We're gonna do the same thing for the eyes. I got my black thread. Now we need to cut out our ears, and we may as well cut out our feet while we're doing this. So we'll start with the ears. Okay. So now you have your face that you made. You want to put it right side up. You have your two ears. You're gonna to wanna to open them up like this. And if you look on this piece, it says there's a fold line. You see that where it says there's a fold line? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get two pins. And you are going to um, fold this flatter side like this just a little bit okay so it should you should have something like this you're basically folding your ear like this now you're gonna take your ear and you're gonna put it kind of like almost like it's at his eyes but not really and then you're gonna pin that in place and then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. You're gonna fold it, and then you're gonna pin it in place. So what you should have should look like this. All right, now you're gonna take your other fleece piece. You're gonna put them right sides together. You're gonna to match them up. I'm gonna use clips, you can use pins, it doesn't matter. Um, just, you're basically holding this in place. These clips are the best thing I ever purchased, ever. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to sew all the way around. Just sew the whole thing all the way around. Okay, so now we have our head and he's wrong side out, that's okay. We're, our eyes are here, so we're gonna take and we're gonna um, near the bottom of the back down here, we're gonna cut a really, really tiny slit. Make sure you don't cut through your fabric. So just, just a little slit right there. We're gonna make it a little bit wider. So your slit is probably about an inch maybe. And then you're just gonna flip your face through that hole. All right, now you got your little squirrel face. We're gonna stuff his head through that little hole. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a needle and thread and we're gonna stitch this closed. We're gonna do a ladder stitch. If you don't know how to do a ladder stitch, just stitch this the best you can. Okay, so for the body, you're gonna need to do this two times. So you're gonna need to take a piece of fleece and you need to fold it in half the size of this. So you want your pattern 
this along the fold. And you're gonna trace this. And you're gonna cut that out. Okay, so now you have your two bodies. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna fold them under, and you're gonna put one in each corner where his feet are. So you're gonna take a piece of your flap, you're just gonna fold it over just like you did with the ears, except on that side right there. You're gonna pin them in place. You're now also gonna pin the tail in on the side that's not as long. So you want the tail on the short, see how his legs are shorter? On the short side, and you're just, that's why we left this open. Okay, so you're gonna sew all of this. Okay. All right, so now you just wanna turn, now that you sewed it, you wanna turn it right side. we want to sew this shut. I'm going to actually stitch this for the sewing machine because after we're done we're going to attach the head so I want to kind of create a little bit of a lip so I can sew the head on. Okay final step you're going to need a pin some thread and a, a needle. You're going to put your little head on top of your body like this. Basically you want to sew him down like this and they say to do a ladder stitch to be honest, I don't know how much you're gonna see or not, but you're basically gonna sew him flat to the body. So let's sew it. So you're just gonna go through the top layer of fabric. Um, don't go through the bottom layer, or you'll be able to see it. You just wanna go through the top layer of fabric on both the head and the body. If you go through the whole thing, you'll definitely be able to see it. and you're done. That's him. This is the flying squirrel.